For the first time, rather, in seven years, the legendary Eddie Eichau Big Wave Internet Invitational returned on Sunday. Yeah, known simply as the Eddie, the single-day competition on Oahu's famed North Shore showcases some of the best big wave riders in the world. And this year, for the first time, it featured women competing in the lineup right alongside the men. For more on this, we are joined by World Surf League commentator Joe Turpel. We're also joined by Mindy Pennybacker, surf columnist for the Honolulu star advertiser and author, of the upcoming book, Surfing Sisterhood Hawaii, Wahimi Reclaiming the Waves. Thank you both for joining us. We appreciate having you both. Uh, let's start with you, Joe. I mean, this is not a competition that happens every year in its 39-year history. It's only run 10 times. So for those who don't know, tell us about the Eddy and what it is that makes this competition so significant and why it doesn't always happen every year. Yeah, it's a, it's a really special event. Um, by far maybe the most prestigious surfing event in the world. It's first of all honors Eddie Aikau, who is a Hawaiian waterman legend, probably one of the best modern day Hawaiian surfing hero stories that there is. A man that gave his own life to rescue people um, day in and day, day out as a lifeguard, the first North Shore lifeguard, and ended up losing his life rescuing people in a capsize of a hokulea, a Hawaiian a sailing canoe back in the late 70s. His whole family put on this event in his honor since he was the lifeguard at Waimea Bay. Uh, he was a world-class surfer and the bay calls the day. That's the, the whole slogan there. If it's not bigger than 20 feet, that's on a Hawaiian scale. For most people, it's 40 foot plus on the face, but the Hawaiians with uh, humility call it a bit smaller than it is, but it's gigantic, 40 to 50 waves. It doesn't run every single winter. And when the bay calls the day, the entire North Shore of Oahu stops what they're doing to come down to watch all the invitees and the big wave heroes go for the most coveted prize. Wow. All right. So, Mindy, as we mentioned, this is also the first year women were out competing against the men. How did that come about and how big is that? It's absolutely enormous, Lindsay. As Joe said, this is probably the most prestigious event in surfing and certainly one of the oldest. And the Icaos, Clyde Icao, director of the event in honor of his brother, decided to invite women starting in 2017. It was the first, it's the first major event in which women had been invited to surf alongside men. And this year there were six women in the lineup in possibly what many people said were the biggest and best waves of any Eddie Icao Invitational in memory and the women absolutely charged. That is so great to hear. Uh, Joe, you mentioned everyone stops what they're doing. You posted an, a video on Instagram showing the streets lined with cars to watch the Eddie at 1241 Sunday morning. Wow. Here's the thing, competition didn't start until eight. I mean, what was the <laughs> atmosphere like there on the ground? It, it, to be honest, I was not expecting this. Uh, you know, I go back to the 2016 event and I don't remember it being this busy and this packed. It had that like a Coachella type atmosphere. People were camping on the side of the streets, preparing for this huge day. They wanted to have the best view uh, surrounding the bay. It's so beautiful. It's like a natural amphitheater. And it was uh, campers hanging out to see something that doesn't happen every year. And they want it. There's even local residents that say, hey, I missed the last one. It's not happening this time. Uh, so it's it's a pretty special thing where everyone just stops what they're doing. You know, all, some of the the local businesses shut down because yeah. they know all eyes are going to be on Waimea Bay. It's really special. Mindy, got to be quick with you here. Tell us about the winner. So the winner was Luke Richardson, a life uh, North Shore lifeguard who actually had to take off time during his work day to serve. And he's only 27 years old. He was absolutely stoked. Um, and I have to say, although none of the women placed, they really made a strong showing in these fearsome waves. I mean, the whole bay was shuddering. And all Kayla Kennelly had to say, she's a multiple big wave champion, was right. it was just beautiful out there. <laughs> all right, Joe Trapel and Mindy Pennybacher, thanks for joining us. And Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.